Could I please, 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 please get some coochie? Please, pretty please, with sprinkles and cherries on top. I promise I won't ask ever again. Please, just a little bit of coochie, please. Uh, that was in my Instagram DMs yesterday. Yeah. And I thought I would share that with you boys to start this episode of Wheel of Nuts. So if you ever think to yourself, wow, I just sipped and I am down so bad. Trust me, my friend, you are not down bad. Until that appears in my Instagram DMs, you are not down bad. You're doing all right, soldier. Don't worry about it. I think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh. Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're not gonna clap every single girl's cheeks, okay? I hope so. You're gonna get curved. It's gonna happen. Move on. Pick yourself up. Have a positive attitude. Okay. Go get the next one, champion. You got this, buddy. That's me talking to myself. <laughs> you are one pathetic loser. Okay, okay, okay. Dial it back in. I'm on back-to-back -back wheel em up mode. You can tell it's getting dark out. Probably not a good idea, but I did just come off a super hot W. You gotta go watch that episode. No spoilers. Go watch it. It's a W, so I'll tell you. Joe Burrow wow. was locked in last episode. Definitely gonna be our endgame QB, as well as Von Bell, who's not gonna be our endgame strike safety, but hey, we're building. You know the rules, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not even gonna ask for any wheel spin. There's so many different things I could use on this team. I'll be grateful for whatever I get. Our pack is training pa Ooh, this is kind of good right now. In fact, this is really good right now. So I can get any pack from the training store. I can get two. So I don't know if Team of the Year pack is still in. It is? I don't want to double up on Team of the Year packs. I know it makes the most sense, but it's super lame. I'm not going to do the Team of the Year fantasy packs. It's just too lame. I would way rather, like, get dog shit out of two draft packs than choose my Team of the Year players. That's so lame. I'm going to do two 93-plus overall NFL draft pass players. I do have the chance to pull the 97s. I'll know the animation instantly. If <laughs> I hate when they do that. All right. Well, if I just pulled the 99, then I just want to kill myself because I'm not going to use it. We're opening two more. That's not the animation. It could be a 93 or 95. Anthony, this is perfect. Yes. I have no linebackers right now. Anthony Walker. Hello there. That is faster than any of the middle linebackers on a team of the year. All right. First one was clutch. Anthony Walker. Very usable. Very solid pull. Not the animation, but... Another linebacker. Let's go. Thank you. That's actually perfect. Like, actually. Yes, I could have chosen a 96 overall Kalil Mack, but I like this better. All right, so Quarterman, get your ass out of this lineup. Anthony Walker's coming in. And then we'll put KJ Wright in for Garvin here. That's huge. Honest to God, that's amazing. KJ Wright, I do not like him, but I do really like Anthony Walker. So this is a really good start. All right, next up, absolutely need a tight end. Like, I don't care how we get it. I just want my tight end. What do you got for me? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so any 95 or 96 overall player, power-ups included, but they must come from the Eagles. Ertz, maybe? Does Ertz get up to that overall? I don't think so. Uh-oh. Ertz is a 93, so he's not going to fit. Shoot. Uh, what about the 96s? Who are the 96 Eagles players? Got Ertz! Oh, my God, yes! That was got Ertz! I did not know that existed. Oh, my God, let's go! That's so clutch! Dallas Goddard, vertical threat, 96 overall, Easter tight end with 91 speed. Also a man who helped my fantasy squad this year. As soon as Ertz went down, Dallas Goddard started going ham, bro. So we're an 84 overall just from our new linebackers, and Dallas Goddard now comes in, takes us up to an 85. I kind of want to put abilities on him, but I just like all the abilities on Burrow right now. I'm going to leave everything as is. 85 overall team. We're really climbing those ranks really fast right now. I love this. I'm really excited. The big hole in our team right now is the fact that we're going to get edge rushed like crazy because our offensive line is trash. But six more wins. We got one win under our belt. We got one loss. And as you can tell, I've been doing a crazy amount of recording. My voice is absolutely shot but i do not give a shit let's get this sh sh money that leaves the challenge wheel it's so clutch right now and those insane packs are still in the store so i would love to get this not 90 percent completion just not 90 percent completion tell opponent red zone plan and i must score okay i've done this one before this one's kind of nice <gasps> what yes i love you big ron i love you is that really your team or did it glitch out he's in Bengals stadium what's with all the Bengals shit right now who is your team? You are the Bengals. Who?
Who? This is a W. Now, the way this works, I have to message him right now and tell him exactly. And I feel like an ass every time I do this. I hate this challenge. Honestly, I feel so rude. I have to tell him he's got Joe Burrow as a dude, and I'm about to grill him with Joe Burrow. I have to tell him how I'm going to score in the red zone. I'm going to do it a QB draw because this guy's a Burrow fan. QB draw is my red zone TD play. Now, whether he sees this or not, I don't ever get to know unless he responds, but I have to score with it to complete the challenge. Now, that's really disrespectful, honestly, but his team sucks, and he's a Burrow fan and I have Burrow in, so kind of just feel bad. Oh God, this is going to be a massacre. Look at Goddard. Let's get the man some reps early. Oh, great blocks. We're just going to stay in no huddle because I can QB draw out of this formation. So I'm going to roll out and hit Julio on the edge. Should be able to. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good Lord. All right, we got a score now on QB draw. He knows I'm doing it, presumably. If he was paying attention. Go Burrow, okay. That is not the touchdown we need. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I just have to score with it. Let's try and get to the one. Let's try and get a little closer. Sit, 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 good. Third and goal, I have to dodge this user. I'm gonna fumble. I have to dodge this user. No, I tried to run to the, shit. I can't score from here with QB draw. I'm gonna try it anyway. I don't have a choice. Cause I have to score with it for the challenge. Gotcha, Go Burrow! Damn it! Ugh. Okay, okay, whatever. Honestly, more than anything, it's important that I lock in these players like when I get opportunities like this. So this should probably be a safety. Psych! Okay. We probably have the same overall teams right now. Come here, ball! Oh! How's that not a I just got a roughing the passer. Oh no, I didn't. Intentional grounding. Ooh. I want this ball back. I need to score like that. All right, I'm setting prime time off the edge. Big blitz. I gotta cover the whole right side of the field though. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <sighs> this is not happening. And his burrow is moving down this field, no lie. Run play action. I wanna sack you so bad. Balls, bro. But Second and 11. This is a Bengals theme team. Stop! Heater. He's playing well though. For a bad team, he's playing really well. Pretty much the only time I feel confident running man is right now. Oh, Von Bell? Against your own team? This is how I will get my QB draw touchdown. I should have chosen a way better play. Why did I choose this play? All right, Burrow, can you do it? Can you lock up the QB draw? Yes! Yes! Challenge complete, and there's a really good chance we're getting a rage quit too. Honestly, this is just a gimme. This is a total freebie handed down from the Madden gods. There we go, baby. All right, we're going with the fake. Yup, flick it up. There's Dallas Goddard. Uh? Did I? Oh. <laughs> I want to play really infuriating so that he rage quits, which is basically just sending screaming hot blitzes. I'm gonna bait that tight end. Ooh, got the sack anyway. Second and 17, this is either an interception from that tight end or a sack. Let's see what happens. Oh, he hands it off. Kids lit up by Jamal Adams. I just feel bad, bro. I really do. He wants to throw to the tight end. I know he does. Oh, Asamuka. What are you doing? All right, fourth and five. Let's get this ball back and then uh, just make this guy hate himself, basically. Kind of the game plan here. Oh, why am I in? Why am I in? Why am I in run commit? Well, I can't really lose. So I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh. He just missed the PAT, ladies and gentlemen. He actually did not have enough power to kick the PAT. And out of bounds. Kicking is not his forte. I'm fairly certain I really could run anything and score. I wonder if Julio could just outrun his team. No, but Jerry? Oh, that was almost nasty. Little play action. Let's get Lucas Niang involved. Lucas Niang is literally a right tackle. <laughs> five for five, 115 yards. Let's get that perfect passer rating. Pretty sure I could just throw Julio at the end zone and aggro. Mm, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk my perfect passer rating. Maybe this is his first season of Wheel of Mutt, you know, and he's got this trash team. First and 10, play action. Don't do it, man. Third and 11. 
He's got to pick up serious yards. That's wide open. Burrow just threw a horrible ball. Oh, get up and pitch it. Ugh. It's not your fault, man. It's not. It's the matchmaking. You had no business being in my game. But I get a rage quit. I get a challenge wheel. So I'm not complaining. Feels so bad. That challenge is only good when you're playing like a sweater or someone who's talking shit. Like that, it's funny. It's like, I'm going to tell you what I'm running and I'm still going to score. He just went out sad. Not only do we get a rage quit wheel spin, but we get any pack in the game. Let's start with our pack. Because we can't determine what we're going to get in our pack, but we can determine what we'll get with the spin potentially. So it all depends what we pull here. I would love some offensive line. Our draft player is... I get another tight end, Dan Arnold, who I also love. So I'm super happy about that. Tight end back up. Tommy Harris, 95 D tackle. Dude, my packs on these are insane. We get a backup halfback, Eddie George. Absolutely. Reggie Wayne, and that's trash. Patrick Queen. Oh, shit. I would love a good D tackle. Are you kidding? All right, let's put Tommy Harris in for sure. Deacon Jones can go here. That's amazing, actually. Let's go. And this Dan Arnold. This Dan Arnold just might be a menace. We'll have to see. And then 92 Eddie George as a backup halfback. That's amazing. <sighs> I got the hiccups. Come on, go away. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh, fuck! I have hiccups. Let's go. Let's get through this. Let's end this episode off in style. Shit! I have hiccups. Rage go wheel. Come on, baby. Oh, focus up. Come on. What you got for me, baby? Oh, L? Holy shit. That went from pretty mediocre to super. Ah, I've been fucking hiccups. Team Wheel Redux. So, any player from the team it lands on, but their series Redux, which can be really, really good. Like, we're guaranteed at least a couple 96, 97 options. Shit! Rams. LA Rams, baby. Let's see what series Redux Rams players there are. I know there's a Cooper Cup, and since I just got my hair cut, I look exactly like this Cooper Cup right now. What? He might be a little more handsome than me. I'm not gonna lie, but... Okay, so... Damn, Aaron Donald is a series Redux for the Rams, but obviously we already have. Nitrain Lane could be an insane safety. He'd be a lot better than Nambi Asamuga at safe because he's super physical. So 96, 97 was pretty solid. Let's look at 94, 95. Probably gonna go Nitrain Lane here. Ugh, nothing else. The Rams do not have a lot for me. I thought there was a 97 Cooper Cup. Maybe he has a shit. It's a 92 Cooper Cup. I don't know why I thought that was a 97. All right, Nitrain Lane it is. This is gonna be our new safety. These hiccups are pissing me off so bad. Fuck! He is gonna be a nasty safety though. Like, no lie. Uh, Asamuga is my backup corner. If anybody gets winded, he'll come in. Night train lands a new safety. All right, boys. Before I literally throw something because of these hiccups, we have an 87 overall. We shot up so fast. So grateful for that. Two straight wins. That's the big part. We're like a snowball. We're rolling down the hill and we're picking up steam and we're making it work. All right. I love you, boys. Thank you for watching this. Always. I'll see you in the next video. Next one, I'll be in Hawaii. I'll see you then. Peace out.